Okay, hi all and uh, welcome back to the shed. So today we're going to go over the EcoWorthy battery balancer. Um, pretty inexpensive item and kind of necessary for the long haul of any sort of batteries that are hooked up in series. Um, whether you want a 24 volt configuration or a 48 volt configuration. Now I've got a 24 volt configuration and I actually have like a two parallel two series configuration with four different batteries okay so basically I have two I have four batteries that are split into two different packs so in each individual pack I've got two batteries that are hooked in parallel um, that increases my amp hours okay and then I've got those two packs connected together in series which increases my voltage so I can get the uh, 24 volt configuration as opposed to the 12 volt configuration now Okay, so as you can see down here, I basically have um, these two batteries here. You can see I've got the positive hooked to the positive, and back there I've got the negative hooked to the negative, right? And then I've got the same configuration going on over here. Here's my positive to positive jumper. Back there I've got my negative to negative jumper. And then in the middle, right here, I've got my um, positive to negative jumper from each set of battery facts and then at the end of both of them I've got my negative terminal coming over here and it runs to the negative bus bar after the shunt and then I've got my positive cable over here and it runs all the way over to the positive bus bar and of course they both feed into my controller now this controller here is the exact same thing well close anyways very close. They're both SRNE rebrands as the EcoWorthy um, 24 volt 3000 watt inverter. This one's just a midnight solar and it is again um, 24 volt 3000 watts. Okay. Um, this one here, um, there was a special panel that I was able to uh, procure that they don't make anymore. Um, so that that way I've got all of the applicable breakers and whatnot in it. Um, that's in one of my other videos on how all that goes and there's more to come on that actually. Today what we're going to go on and cover is how to connect up the battery balancer in this two parallel two series configuration. It's really pretty straightforward. Let's go ahead and take a look at the battery balancer itself and get this show rolling. Okay, so you can see the uh, EcoWorthy battery balancer is actually fairly small. This is a 24 volt, um, kind of a single setup. It's typically made for two batteries. I've got a four battery bank and I've got it split up into a two parallel, two series configuration so I can get away with this. You can see where these wires are a little short for what I got going on. So the red one and the black one, I did not add on to those. Um, I didn't need to with the white one and actually everything came out looking pretty well. You can see my configuration and how those wires just won't work out. But you know, um, over here at Casa del Spillane, we make everything work out no matter what. Okay, so before we get started on the install for the EcoWorthy battery balancer, um, which is actually fairly straightforward, um, you just got to remember to keep the leads um, positive, negative, and uh, the middle one, which is supposed to be a positive also, you just got to make sure they go to the proper place, um, otherwise you won't have effective balancing and it could possibly damage the unit here. So what I want to go over first is my uh, battery wiring and how I achieved it without having to get um, two different battery balancers because there's a couple different ways to connect your, you know, four batteries in order to get a 24 volt configuration. And basically I used a um, parallel, parallel, to series type configuration. I believe it would be called a two parallel, two series configuration. Um, the other way you do it is basically it'd be a two series um, to two parallel configuration where you'd have two separate battery packs to make one battery pack similar to this, except these would be connected in series and these two would be connected in series in order to achieve a 24 volt status and they would be both connected to a common bus bar. Um, the way I did it here is I basically, I have two separate battery packs of 
12 volts a piece and you know they're hooked in parallel so I've got two positives connected together and then I've got the two negatives connected together so that keeps the voltage the same at the 12 volts or 12.8 volts whatever we want to go by 13.3 if you want to say it that way um, but it increases the amperage so when you connect in parallel your voltage stays the same but your amperage increases so I have 200 amp hour batteries and basically I, I increase my amp hours to 400 amp hours on this battery bank um, <clears throat> I did the same over here you can see I've got my parallel connection with my positive and my negative and this maintains my 12 volt status and also my 200 uh, amp hour capacity goes to 400 amp hours now I have two separate battery banks right and I connect them right here from a positive to a negative to make them one battery bank in total so I have two parallel hooking two to series now when you connect in series essentially your voltage increases so I go from 12 volts on each battery pack to 24 volts okay now when you do that though your amp hours stay the same your capacity stays the same as far as your amps go not your overall capacity I don't want to confuse you guys on wattage that's a whole different scenario there but essentially my amp hours remain at 400 amp hours but I double my voltage to the 24 volt configuration <coughs> this configuration here gives me approximately 10,000 watts of stored energy watt hours as it were okay so let's go ahead and take a look at the battery balancer up here now you can see I've got the battery balancer here and I've got my uh, positive my red lead that comes out and it connects to the positive terminal actually down here and then I've got my negative terminal and it comes out over here and it connects to the negative side of this battery bank so we're on opposite sides here we want to get as far apart from each other as we can um, in order to make this function correctly now the middle one which is also a positive lead kind of goes in between the positive and the negative. It could go on either one of these terminals. I currently have it just hooked up to the positive if I remember correctly. We'll take a double look at that in a moment. Um, then of course, uh, that's all you got to do to hook it up. Once it's in installed, um, if you look, we'll go back and look at the uh, battery balancer itself, but it does have two LED indicators, green ones. And so when there's a 10, volt milli 10 millivolt difference, in the batteries the LED light will come on and let you know which side you're oh, we'll have to take a look at it I think it's which side you're actually charging or which side is high and this force actually charging the other side so that way it kind of balances out as we go okay so I'm gonna go ahead and disassemble some things here get the wires uh, disconnected and move one battery out so that that way I can connect the uh, or mount the battery balancer where I'd like it. I do have it upside down so I could see the LED lights myself just for fun in case it ever happens when I'm around. Um, kind of a quick process really. You got to be careful when you're doing this. So I do have some, you know, exposed lugs and whatnot. I'm using a, a wrench back there. You don't want to throw any sparks or create any magic smoke. Um, that's never any fun. We're just getting her back together now. Okay, so now that the install is done with the battery balancer, let's go ahead and take a look at the configuration really quick and go over a thing or two, okay? So, so you can see I've got the battery balancer down in there and I've got some lighter wires just kind of dangling. I'll tidy that up later after we remove the second shunt. I've kind of got a ongoing um, comparison going between the Renogy shunt and the Victron shunt. My parallel series configuration um, throughout there, I've got one of the leads over here. I've got one of the leads over here that run back to the battery balancer. I've got another one that's hooked up right to the middle here. Um, it could go on either side. I mean, this is the same point, whether it be right here or right here. We're not talking a big difference. And then I've got the black negative lead over here on the negative side. You can kind of see it over there where the red grommet is or um, lug. So down here, this is where my um, battery balancer is. And you can see 
that I've got a green LED on this side, I've got a green LED on that side, and whenever it starts flashing, that tells me what side is lowest, okay? To clarify that from the earlier part of this video. Now, let's go ahead and take a look, and what I'm going to do is over here, you can see on the positive red lead coming from the battery bouncer, I've got like a little... Um, connector here. I'm going to disconnect it and you'll see the LED on the left light up and start flashing meaning we're into the low voltage situation. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. We'll just unhook it and you see that's where it goes. Now I didn't do that for the negative side. I'll show you it also but it is throwing voltage over to this side now or however it works whether it kind of grounds out another side. I don't know. We plug it back in and we're done. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put some black tape over that connector so it doesn't short out anywhere. But you kind of get the general idea of how all this goes together, okay? Pretty simple, a cheap investment, and I think worth the money in the long run. Okay, folks, so there you have it. Um, basically, why is the battery balancer important? Even though my batteries were not out of balance according to the battery balancer and how it works with the two LEDs, um, essentially, over time when you have something in series they may start to charge unequally and then that can actually damage cells in the long run so to get the best life out of your batteries they recommend to use a battery balancer myself batteries are expensive and even though these batteries are going to get repurposed in another project of mine um, i still want to maintain their integrity and make sure that they are in it for the long haul and get many years of good service out of them so that way the investment pays off because eventually these batteries are going to be pulled out probably split up into two different systems Systems, and we're going to replace the batteries under here but one of the systems with the EcoWorthy controller um, that's in another video um, it's going to go into an outdoor kitchen and with another a different type of uh, circuit breaker panel and it's going to be just a rock solid system but right now thanks for checking in you guys and that's freaking awesome isn't it take care